In the last two decades, Uganda has made significant strides in sugarcane production and processing. This progress is closely linked to the liberalization of the subsector. Between 2005 and 2014, sugar processing mills increased from 4 to 12. Currently, there are 19 mills located in eastern, western, northern and central regions of the country. However, the steady growth of the sugar industry has often been blamed for causing food insecurity and land fragmentation in the cane growing areas. That is not true. Instead, it has improved greatly the world of our farmers. Let's come up with bylaws not to allow people who do not have two and a half hectares of land to grow cane. And of course, that one should be after removing, uh, removing land for for the, for the food. They acknowledge their industry is facing numerous challenges that can be sorted out through government intervention and stakeholders' empowerment, especially for the local farmers. Government, please, let it be a policy that for someone to put up a sugar, a sugar cane processing factory, you must explore the entire value chain. The traders are known, those who own mills are traders. For us, we are growers. Let us remain the Minister of Agriculture. Let, us, let there be a budgeting to support sugarcane, but also most importantly, let them support the formation of the National Association of Cane Farmers so that we go stronger. This was at the 10th National Forum on Agriculture and Food Security held in Kampala. Organized by the Economic Policy Research Center and Development Partners, the event sought to revisit policy, institutional, regulatory arrangements in the country's sugarcane sector. The Makerere University-based think tank disseminated key findings on a recently conducted research and made recommendations on sector governance and regulation. The country is growing. We are industrializing. And the new byproducts and products are coming from the industry, sugar. Electricity. Now you realized how the country started developing self-sufficiency in, in the production of sanitizers. Those are new byproducts that are coming on the market and they have really gained traction. We have okay, electricity, uh, by, I mean, then the molasses. Now, does, if the pricing is becoming a challenge, does the new reality or oh, what the challenge that is, um, can we? The pricing include those byproducts because it is, we have industrialized and there is a market for those byproducts that is, that is growing in the country. About 29,000 farming households engage in cane production in Uganda and these farmers employ an estimated 640,000 people. The outgrowers contribute approximately 198 billion shillings per annum to national income. Dennis Igor for UBC Business.